It seems you have given in to your desire to know more and have elected to join the Mobile Infantry. I am Commander Tyrael and I am your Federation Enlistment and Liaison Officer and I'll be guiding you through the induction phase of your recruitment. Planets within the Arachnid Quarantine Zone are a brutal place as reflected by the images you will see in the next 40 minutes. To ensure you remain loyal to your obligations, you will now take the oath and watch a short presentation on our mission. Afterwards, you will get a chance to meet your fellow recruits. The Battle of Klandathu. A day that will live in infamy. But from tragedy springs hope as the Federation rebuilds its fleet bigger and stronger than before. To fuel this war machine, all eyes are now on Qalasha. Once an isolated outpost, this mineral-rich world has become a key part of humanity's battle for survival. But the planet's vital mining industry may now be in danger after reports of bugs on the surface. And so the mobile infantry answers humanity's call. These brave men and women will defend Quilasha from any insect aggression. Fresh meat for the grinder, eh? Listen up, Lieutenant. The advanced team kicked an anthill. Now they got more bugs than they know what to do with. We're here to save their asses. Let's do this by the book. Don't be a hero, and you won't need a body bag. You understand me? Let's go. On the bounce. So, first mission's pretty easy. Two squads of riflemen. There's a handy need to know more button right here. Everyone's doing their part, are you? Explains all about the unit we'll be using today, the Rifle Trooper, and all of his skills and abilities. Armed with the standard issue Federation Marita Assault Rifle. Pretty effective against the standard warrior bug. And these little fellows here, the chariot bug. His big brother's a bit meaner though. Would you like to know more? Remember clicking the like button at any time will indicate that you accept the rules and conditions of mobile infantry service. As we come up to the main engagement here, you can see that there's a few warrior bugs. There's nothing that a fully stocked squad can't take care of. The only thing is don't let them get close to you. See what happens when you don't listen. But there's plenty more willing recruits where they came from. So you need to have a strong battle line with good overarching fire because you will block the squad behind you. Line of sight is extremely important. So make sure that your squads are always covering each other. Don't let them get close, because they will do serious damage to you. Stand back and enjoy the fireworks. It's not often that we get air support. So don't rely on it. It's generally only ever used for cinematic effect. Makes good propaganda videos. Alright, let's get after these little buggers. Been fighting bugs my whole life. Growing up in Australia, bugs are pretty common. That's why we get an automatic promotion on enlistment. Roger that. So we send a dropship down and resupply that one trooper that got too close. Let's see if we can't help out this town up ahead. I heard they're Mormons, which is interesting. They never listen to Mormons. You can't expect to knock on a bug's door and try to convert them to your way of thinking, unfortunately. Elevation is important too, it'll allow you to shoot over the squad in front of you. It didn't work in this case, and it looks like we we were too late. Alright, 
Get a frag in there and finish them off. Get those supplies. Yes, sir. Look sharp, troopers. Affirmative, sir. Major Cortez reporting. Orders from command. That'll take some damage control with public relations. That's a copy. Good to hear your voice. Mormon extremists disregarded federal warnings and established Port Joe Smith, deep inside the arachnid quarantine zone. Too late, they realized that Dantana had already been chosen by other colonists, arachnids. Would you like to know more? No, I think we we saw what happened. Look sharp, sir. Looks like we got some friendly engineers up ahead, holding them at bay. Engineers are a good suppression unit. They can build heavy machine gun emplacements and other defenses. Area denial is their main role, I would say. I need to move up towards this radio outpost and try and get some reinforcements. Gained access to an extra couple of squads, the two engineers and another rifle squad, which will help. But they have taken some losses. So we'll set up a suppression line and then put in a crossfire. Making sure not to overlap. Being able to manage your squads independently and effectively is probably the main strength of the game. Roger that. Every squad has his own abilities and can gain veterancy. Roger that. Rifle troopers have frag grenades. Roger that. Sir. Affirmative. And that's the last of them. Move in Roger and that. take control of the comm center. Get your gear. We're moving out. Yes, sir. We'll set up a perimeter defense with the engineers while we take over and call in reinforcements. So now we just need to wait for the dropship to come down to restock that extra squad that we picked up. Four new troopers, ready to go. Sir. So we'll get ready to head up to the next. Command just radioed out an alert. Major bug movement to your east. Okay, things are about to get interesting. Look sharp, people. Form a perimeter. Change of plans. We'll set up a perimeter as instructed. Have a battle line of infantry and we'll try and put the engineers on the side. Their flame grenade is really good for setting up an impassable barrier. Trooper standing by. So if we get overwhelmed, we can use that like a firewall. Awaiting orders. And here they come. Any second now. And now it's like, don't let them get close to you. Tower defense style. So we'll get some fire grenades there to get a wall up, stop them coming through that side, and funnel them into the kill zone. Being able to manage the bug is half the fight. If you get surrounded, You'll be meat for the grinder. Done. Well done, troopers. Outstanding. This area is hotter than we thought. New order, sir. Bug activity is too strong. Command is recalling you to Delta Four Base. Leave the civvies and get yourself home. Hmm. That route won't be pretty. Rough terrain. Lots of hidey holes for bugs. But you gotta punch through. It'll be easy for this crew. So we grab the team and we'll just make sure that they're set up into two different squads for easy control and move them up. Got a couple of different approaches to get to the base. So we'll see if we can provoke some movement. Yes, sir. These sort of narrow pathways are very dangerous once your troops get all bunched up. Don't try not to say, ah, oh, get out of the fire. Don't go in the fire. 
Thank you. Small squad, easy to take down. But we need to get through this narrow pass and then spread out so we're not congested. Got some extra supplies to pick up as well. Yes, sir. Grab those. Engineers get your gear. We're moving out. Get the engineers on the other crates and keep the overwatch the on while they do that. Out, sir. It's pretty token resistance, not too bad. Let that be a lesson. These We've had worse. Had guns, but they didn't have training or discipline. That's why we're alive and they're not. And now it's just time to hustle. Get to the base. Awaiting orders. Look sharp, troopers. Just upgrade the troopers that have reached elite status to be able to use their shotguns. If they get close, use this as an emergency, but it does drastically reduce your range. Yes, sir. But it is extremely potent as well, so keep that in mind. Now haul ass and get behind those walls. And it looks like we're safe and home. Excellent work for our first mission. Bugs are going for the base. Standard procedure is to keep the gates shut until there are zero hostiles in the area. Oh, hell. Guess you're doing this in the open. Are you serious? <laughs> Open the gate or I'll have your head. Roger that, sir. All right, we need to set up an overwatch. Use the same tactic as before. Use the engineers to deny the bugs access. So we'll get their fire grenade up. Well, there's a few there this time. Get the fire grenade in between the cars. Get a frag grenade in there to finish them off. And then we'll have a look at the southern team. How are we going down here? Easy work. Good job, troopers. See, it looks like the base personnel can't even look after their own base. It's terrible. Someone knock out that tactical officer yes, for me. That's an order. We got more coming now. Let's get up on the walls. Hurry up, get up on the walls. Show them what the 1st Vanguard Division can do. These guys are my personally trained soldiers. They know what to do. We've got flying bugs. At least that tactical officer got his comeuppance. There's no place in the Federation for cowards. Get them off the walls. Get them off the walls. The southern part of the wall is under control. We're just going to get this northern corner, which is conveniently looked after by the base guard. I'll be writing a strongly worded letter to the commanding officer in charge of that division. And so there's an example of our first day in the mobile infantry. Just a standard day, nothing too hectic. But don't go anywhere. Well, we have an important announcement from FedNet. With the size of the bug problem now clear, immediate action is needed. The mobile infantry moves into gear to protect Qualasha, its mines, and its people. Identified numerous bug holes in the area, and guess whose job it is to clean them out. Get your squads over to the supply base ASAP, and we'll go from there. Move out. So another cakewalk mission. Two Sir, squads of rifle it. troopers to start the day. Let's yes, get into it. Survivors, take down those bugs. Don't throw a grenade into your own guys. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. Yeah. But... I 
honestly, I don't blame him. That would have been terrible. That troop is still getting written up for throwing that grenade. It wasn't my order. Don't know whose order that was. Make sure that we really leapfrog it and get in there quickly. Fortunately, the supply base is very close at the start, and we do have some supplies to use straight off the bat, so we'll be able to call in an extra squad. We're going to need all the help we can get. Standing by. Three squads are better than two. So we'll set up an overwatch position here. Bugs inbound. Find a firing position, people. Use the high ground. Like the guy said, use the high ground. And we just got to put some overwatch for this friendly troopers down here in the valley. Getting pretty close, so we'll use a frag grenade. Sensors are picking up new bug hive activity. Okay, now that we have reinforcements and a base of operations, we need to move forward. So we'll take all three of our squads and set up a battle line. Get over there. Just over here, not very close. As long as that exists, I'll keep coming. It. Move up. Standing by. Come on. Battle line up. Now this on, line sir. of sight is broken Coming by in. the ridge, so we have to be there. We go. Surprise attack. Infantry. Be extremely careful of that. That's when they'll get you. Standing by. Affirmative. Sir. And now we just need to set up a line over this ridge. Get a bit close there, buddies. Standing by. Sir. Being elevated here, I'll be able to put a really strong field of fire down. So we'll get one squad of troopers Sir. down in the valley, and we'll have two on overwatch. So we have enough squads here to stand here all day if we needed to. And in some small way we do, because we need to wait until the population of the hive is depleted. So it's a matter of killing everything that comes out, and then going in and killing the rest. Should be almost done. We'll get another squad down here, just to try and speed the process up. You see when they get close, the shotguns go off. Another frag in. See you later, bug boy. Okay, so the flashing bug indicator shows how much population is inside the hive. So there, now we can send a squad inside. Okay, the bugs are down. And that's our first hive. That bug hole to seal it up. They're going to take some casualties, but that's what we're here for. Not my team. Hive complete. Okay, so we move up to the next radio base and repeat the process. Yes, sir. Sir? Come on, you apes! Sir. Hopefully we should be able to get some more reinforcements or bring in a different type of trooper as well. Because it does seem like a fairly large mission. Sir. Affirmative. Standing by. Move out. Infantry. Affirmative. Three squads are capable of dealing with warriors in numbers. 
Sir. But ideally you want about four squads, especially when you're playing on Brutal. Roger that. Standing by. On the move. Roger that. Troopers can't fire while they're moving either. Sir. So you move need to move that. them one by one if you Sir. want to keep them safe. The better you micro your troops, the better. Roger that. Listen up. Come on. Standing by. It's got odd lines of sight here, so just trying to fiddle around and get the perfect line of fire in case we get ambushed. Sir. Yes, sir. Standing by. With me. Infantry standing by. Sir. You can see the little icon above the head of your troopers tells you their accuracy that they currently have. So when their line of fire is blocked, you'll see a red circle above their head. The dots are an indicator of their experience. So one of our troopers is at elite experience. And so we have enough supplies to bring in some engineers. Just need to build the required building. Have a busy day at the office, then. All right, we're going to need combat engineers and MG turrets. Here we go. Got the engineers in. We'll get the turrets up Tell us what to do. and get this okay. radio outpost All secure. Our war support has increased. Here we sir. go. The turrets are manned, so you don't need to waste any troopers on them. But they do use a separate requisition point. War support. Two heavy machine guns can deal with most light waves. And we call in some reinforcements. Break and take you live to Fleet Battle Station Ticonderoga, deep inside the Arachnid Quarantine Zone, where the men and women of the Federal Armed Services prepare to attack. Where is the HQ? Up with God. Two. One. You're on. No one here in the yes, HQZ knows exactly when yes, the invasion sir. will occur, but everyone's talking about it, and the talk says tomorrow. Here's a bunch of MI kids that look like they could eat bugs for lunch. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. So, Trooper, you're not too worried about fighting the arachnids? Hey, shoot a nuke down a bug hole, you got a lot of dead bugs, I just right? hope it's not over before we get sunk. <laughs> <laughs> Some say the bugs were provoked by the intrusion of humans into their natural habitat. That a live and let live policy is preferable to war with the bugs. Let me tell you something. I'm from Buenos Aires, and I say kill them all! Yeah! Oh, yeah! 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 Oh, yeah! Amazon Prime Day is coming! So I decided to send back the engineers back to the ship because I would prefer to have a stronger infantry presence while we clear out the uh, the western side of the map. I don't see my heavy machine guns being overrun and we will dismantle those later anyway. I also have a reserve trooper squad to help the heavy machine gunners. So my aim is to use two squads of two troopers. Let's check the overwatch, that's okay. Get the grenade out. Wait a minute, there's too many coming through. It's supposed to be two groups of two. So we'll wait until that wave's cleared off. Shoot her! Shoot her! <laughs> One poor trooper got completely eviscerated, so we'll send his squad back to get a refresh. And we'll set up a forward position while we wait for that. Yes, sir. Look alive. Move out. It may seem like I'm wasting time, but it's extremely important to have full yes, squads sir. at this high difficulty. And we'll test out the brand new shotties. One squad going full ham with their shotguns will do a lot of work to a wave. So it's a pretty wise thing to take as a backup. The other skill is a bundle of grenades, which can only be thrown at your feet, but has a large fuse. So I'm yet to find any real use for that. 
All right, so we're fully stocked. Two groups of two troopers again. And we'll set up a crossfire just to deplete the population of this hive and then bomb it. Look sharp, troopers. Affirmative. Standing by. Yes, sir. Squad, ready for orders. Crossfire is very effective. They could probably take three times as many bugs this way. Listen up. With me. We'll cross over the road here and get a direct line of sight Good to the hive and move up the support element. Sir. Checking on the base. Heavy machine guns and those troopers there are still doing fine, so we'll make our push sir, towards the hive. Sir. Yes, which sir. is already Good empty. Line, one trooper in and one on overwatch, and we'll send the other two back to the forward base. Squad, ready for orders. We'll send the veterans Sir. in, just in case something happens. Look sharp, troopers. And that hive is clear. Roger that. Activity. Fully automatic burrito. Who wants to hold it? So we've got reports of a new bug in the sector, a spitter bug. These things are nasty pieces of work. And they do outrange our riflemen. So for now we'll just have to try and get close whenever they appear. Or alternatively, use machine gun emplacements to fight them. The one downside to that is I do not have enough requisition points for an engineer. So I had to send back one of the infantry squads. We've also got a bug nest down in the valley below. Which spawns bugs continuously until we destroy it. It's a little bit different to a hive. You can do it you can destroy it with your weapon damage. It's a very good defensive position, so I can afford to take away my heavy machine guns. And we'll get the next squad of engineers up to start the next forward emplacement. So we'll have one to guard the road, and then I'll use one to attack across the bridge. We're on it already. Those MGs aren't getting enough action back there. Get them disbanded, and then redeploy them up at the bridge. A couple of units of warriors, the engineers should be able to take them, but if that happens while they're building, that'll be bad news. In the meantime, we'll get the squads attacking the bug nest, and the heavy machine gun ready to guard the road's approach. And that was a good call because those engineers would have taken a casualty there. And here's our first sighting of the Spitterbug, little bastards. Not as scary as some of the bugs you see in Australia, but still formidable. So we'll get our second heavy machine gun up. That, that machine gun there and a rifle squad should be able to cover the road. But I have a strong desire to know more about these bugs, so let's have a look. The spitterbug is a fragile species that can project acid from a thoracic gland. The substance causes serious corrosion and can be lethal when exposed to substantial doses. Your basic arachnid warrior isn't too smart, but you can blow off a limb. It's still 86% combat effective. Here's a tip. Aim for the nerve stem and put it down for good. Would you like to know more? And now we know. They're deadly. <laughs> Don't let them get anywhere near you. Until we have a longer range trooper, we won't be able to do much but take fire from them. So here's our first large little group of spitters. Keep the engineers away from them because they're more valuable manpower wise. Sir, HQ on 
It's going to be hard. So we're going to take the low valley and try and stay out of the spitter's line of sight. We've been a little busy here. Okay, people. We are pushing up this road. We should be able to do this with three squads again, but we'll have the engineers as backup. Get one group of troopers up onto the ridge. There may be something coming down the road, so we'll just make sure they're prepared. Yes, there is. Here it comes. So we've got a two, two front to defend here at the moment. And this hive has spitters, so we need to get close so we can negate their range advantage. We have to time, try and time it right. And this was not the right time. So get them back before they all melt. It's an unpleasant way to go. I wish you could order your troops to take cover or something. That would be a nice thing to do. But mobile infantry aren't known to hide. They like to stand in the open and move from place to place. In the original iteration of Starship Troopers in the books, all of the mobile infantry are in exosuits, and that's why they're that's why they're called mobile infantry. The movie from the 90s did change that, and it's only really loosely based on the novels. Excellent series, I love it. Anyone that's watched my channel for a while may have picked up on the cues that I am a Starship Troopers lover. Look alive, troopers. And so it's an honor for me to be able to enjoy this game. There's a radio tower ahead of your position. I do vaguely remember playing a Starship Troopers game when I was a kid, but I could be wrong. All right, so we've got two angles of attack that we can come. We could go up the main road and, and attack that double hive. But what I will do is move the infantry up to the new radio station and I'll use the engineers to build my way up the road with heavy machine gun towers. Make sure no one's left behind and move on. Out of the ashes of Buenos Aires comes first sorrow, then anger. The only good bug is a dead bug. In Geneva, the Federal Council convenes. We must meet the threat with our valor, our blood, indeed with our very lives, to ensure that human civilization, not insect, dominates this galaxy now and always. So you may or may not have noticed all the little snippets from the original movies. Just a note that they are not included in the game and that's just all me and my love for the lore. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. We've just taken over our second forward operating base and we're going to bring in some snipers now which will help us deal with the spitters. Snipers have a very long range but their line of sight isn't as long as their range, so you need to use infantry to spot for them or get them into a highly elevated position. So while we get the snipers up onto their perch, we'll get some reinforcements in because we have another bug nest just inside this valley here. So we've just got to wait for this wave to go and then we'll call in reinforcements. We do need to get those spitters over in the distance here. So we'll grab the snipers and get them before they notice us. As long as you can lock the spitters down, you can generally manage with the warriors. The warriors are just a meat shield, just like our troopers. <laughs> Less meat in their shield, though. Okay, 
Okay, so now they're gone. We'll just open fire on the bug lair and get that destroyed. Meanwhile, our engineers are slowly creeping up the road with heavy machine gun emplacements. That should give us a good crossfire at the end of the road and give our troops some cover if we do get overwhelmed. Slow and steady wins the war of attrition. As long as you make sure you're chewing them more than they chew you. Send another meteor our way. But this time we're ready. Planetary defenses are better than ever. Roger that, sir. Always remember Buenos Aires. I'm not from Buenos Aires, but I do say kill them all. We're just here to kill bugs. Alright, so we'll move the snipers, see if we can get a better view for them. Although that line of sight does look a little bit awkward, so we may end up just putting them on the ridge. And there we go, our heavy machine guns have worked to lessen that wave a little bit, which is exactly what we intended. Gets to draw the aggro a bit. So we'll send one of our crew back to get restocked. We do have enough infantry here, I feel, to take this base. Now that bug hole is linked to the bug, bug hive. And they release populations separately, though. You can't kill the bug hole until the bug hive is killed. If that makes sense. All I know is you just gotta kill the bugs until the light stops flashing. And then you can send a team in. We seem in pretty good stead. We've got an excellent battle line. We've got the snipers taking out the spitters as soon as we can. And we've got fully restocked troopers. So let's do it. We'll move down the escarpment one troop at a time. Try not to bugger this up. Sir. Excuse the pun. Roger that. Sir. Affirmative. Ready here. I'm on. Standing by. Feel pretty confident that we can take this now, so I will take away one of our heavy machine gun nests. Can't really build it anywhere useful, so I'll get rid of the other one as well. Sir. We should be fine. Once this wave's gone, we'll make a dash. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, we haven't actually cleared the hive. Oh, get out of... Ah, oh, my God. Get out of there. Get out of... They, they're not listening to my commands. And we just got chewed. Chewed. And that's what happens when you're not prepared. second... <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> they got mangled. We're lucky we didn't lose our elite troops then, actually. Fortunately, there is a resupply base just here, so we'll be able to get some reinforcements back. But, <laughs> yeah, that wasn't cool. Don't take that as a reflection of my leadership ability. Must have been an order lost in command somewhere there. Okay, you heard the news. Our only chance is to use this valley as a kill zone. This will be the last holdout of the mission, so we need to get our here. troops resupplied we'll and remanned and get a defensive line set up. Look sharp, troopers. So get them forward and get reinforced. Get the full strength squads to the fore. We need to get up the heavy machine gun nests. Unfortunately, you can't stack up the build orders, so we'll just need to do that one at a time. We'll get the snipers up on the ridge line and one unit of riflemen up on the other ridge for a crossfire. 
our reinforcements have arrived, so we'll move forward. We'll put one up on the ridge with the snipers. And the rest of the infantry can hold the front line. Get the engineers up. Second unit of riflemen up. I still need to build the other machine gun nest, so I'll quickly do that. And we should be okay. The snipers get the ability to send out a sensor flare, which distracts bugs. Or they can do a critical shot. I'll take the sensor flare this time, but I probably won't get a chance to use it. And here comes the wave. Oh, it's full of spitters. Too far away for our snipers up on the ridge to get. Fortunately, we get a bit of air support, which will help thin the wave out a bit. But this looks like our biggest wave to date. Although spitters are taking a generous toll on our riflemen at the front line. So we'll move them back, try and soften the blow a little bit. Oh, they're just getting melted. Absolutely chomped. Yeah. The spitters are definitely a rifleman's weakness. Nearly lost a whole unit. Thankfully, that seems to be the last of them. We just lost an engineer. Spitters are still taking a generous toll. Get the rifleman out. And that was actually a heavy loss. We should have built more machine gun nests. Crisis for humankind. Fleet officials admit they underestimated the arachnids' defensive capability. But we'll learn for next time. So that comes to the end of our initiation program. If you have enjoyed this, make sure to hit subscribe. And let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more of this. Colossians take great pride in their planet's mining industry. Through sweat of brow, valiant colonists dig up the precious minerals the Federation needs. It's an ore effort for the war effort. And they're not going to let a few bugs scare them off. The mobile infantry has begun escorting workers, many of them patriotic volunteers, back into the mines so they can keep excavating the future of humanity. We have the ships. We have the weapons. We need soldiers. Soldiers like Private Ace Levy and Lieutenant John Rico. Come on, you if you want to live forever! We need you all. Service guarantees citizenship.